Welcome back. It's a warm morning across Southeast Texas. We're in the 70s for the most part. We're showing 81 in orange. Been showing 81 all morning long there, but uh, most locations in the lower 70s, lower uh, 70s in Silsby at 71, right at 70 in Kirbyville, 72 Woodville and 72 Jasper. Here in Beaumont, we're showing 75 degrees here at uh, the six o'clock hour. Let's take you over to Orange. We're on our Roofing 911 Live Skycam Network. We're a little bit cooler, showing 77 degrees there. Of course, this camera's from the Horseman's Western Store looking down on I-10. Not too much traffic out there on this uh, Memorial Day morning. Uh, just a few cars here and there. Not uh, typically what we usually see on a regular work day where uh, the interstate's pretty busy. Uh, currently 77 in orange, humidity 84%, and winds are out of the south at 3. They should pick up out of the south today anywhere between about 10 to 20 miles per hour. No rain across the state. Radar is quiet out there for this morning. Uh, maybe a few isolated showers trying to develop out in West Texas there, but not much showing up at all. Uh, not expecting much until we get till tomorrow, and even then only a 20% chance of a few showers, and we'll see that throughout the work week as we continue to see those southerly winds off the Gulf of Mexico. For today, no rain in the forecast. We'll be lower 80s to middle 80s by 10 o'clock. Lunchtime getting close to 90, and then we'll level out right around 90 degrees for the afternoon. South Southeasterly winds throughout the day at 10 to 20, mostly sunny skies. Going into this evening, we start in the 80s, we'll end up in the 70s. Overnight, we'll see partly cloudy skies develop, but still a dry forecast overnight as we park ourselves right there into the middle to lower 70s. Out in the Pacific Ocean, we're looking at the first storm of the season, and this is already a major hurricane. Uh, Agatha is working its way up towards the coast of Mexico. This is southern Mexico right here as you continue to go over that Central America there. And then, of course, if you look right here, that is the southern uh, Bay of Campeche or the southern Gulf of Mexico. So they're expecting this to come on shore and kind of drift off towards the north and east and possibility a low end chance of maybe some development there into the southern Gulf of Mexico are going over into uh, sections of uh, maybe the Caribbean. Uh, right now, 30% uh, chance, but this has turned orange, so they might have updated that to 40%. We're going to have to look at that. I'll, have, I'll go check it out and have an update for you here at the end of the show. But uh, right now, no big concerns for Southeast Texas. None of the computer models showing any type of tropical system off the coast of Southeast Texas anytime soon. Today, hot and humid. Temperatures into the upper 80s and lower 90s. Southwinds at 10 to 20. Above average temperatures again tonight into the 70s. And then our seven-day forecast shows an isolated chance of rain for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, we will see temperatures right there into the lower 90s. Over the weekend, uh, we're looking at uh, no rain in the forecast. We'll keep it dry for the weekend. Uh, well, highs continuing there into the lower 90s. Uh, once again, I uh, just want to check real quick here while I run over to the weather office, weather center here and see. And yeah, they've decided to update that chance of maybe some development in the southern Gulf of Mexico at 40 percent over the next five days. But once again, I don't think it's going to be a big concern for us. Yeah, like you mentioned, when it hits Mexico, sh thing is done. Yeah, it yeah. looks like it's going to die down. Like yeah. I said, there could be some redevelopment, but everything's kind of pushing everything off towards the north and east. So if there were be some development in the Gulf, it would slide maybe towards the eastern Gulf and not here. All right, that sounds good there. Yep.